Hi, I'm Dr. Thomas Sue, owner and surgeon of Art Lipo, a clinic that's focused on doing only liposuction. What makes me unique is that I have a background in art with a four-year degree in fine arts prior to becoming a doctor. Being an artist gives me a much different perspective on liposuction than most doctors. I take my surgery as seriously as my art because to me it is an art. When it comes to cosmetic surgery, liposuction is one of the most difficult ones to master and to do well consistently. It's a sculpting process more than a suction process, and the results can vary tremendously. At its best, liposuction can sculpt your body into a whole new shape that leaves you looking much more beautiful. And at its worst, you can be left with a lumpy and uneven surface with irregular skin. It's no wonder that many people have heard horror stories and may be scared to try it. I've created this video to help people thinking about having liposuction know what to look for when choosing a surgeon. I've been doing liposuction for eight years, and I continually see patients coming to me to fix problems caused by other doctors. The problems I hear about are usually that patients see very little improvement and still have lots of fat in the areas that were treated. Sometimes the areas are uneven or not well blended. The worst cases are ones where there's lumpiness. Why do these problems occur? Well, as I said before, liposuction is a difficult process, both in removing the fat completely and even more so when it comes to doing it smoothly. In my experience, I see the average surgeon removing only about 50% of the fat, which is basically what I call a debulking process or making an area smaller. This doesn't usually create a sculpted new shape and it doesn't fully get rid of a bulge. This is because a surgeon, this is usually because a surgeon doesn't want to take the time to do things fully. Then there's surgeons who just aren't skilled enough to do things fully and end up creating uneven contours. In my practice, I always strive to remove 80 to 90% of the fat, which is very complete. And to do so requires at least twice the amount of time that only removing 50% takes. It's very time consuming. It requires a lot of skill to keep things smooth all the way. So how do you avoid bad lipo? I've come up with a few key tips. One. Before and after photos are the best way to determine whether a surgeon is skilled or not. You want to see lots of photos of the surgeon's own work. You want to see beautiful results. Ask to look at patients that have similarities to yourself. What you're looking for is to see if a surgeon creates a noticeable change. And are the results smooth? Are the photos clear? If you're going to a clinic where there are many surgeons or multiple surgeons, you want to see photos from the surgeon that's going to do the work on you. Number two, make sure that you get to see the surgeon in the consultation process. Many clinics let you see a consultant only prior to booking for surgery. Number three, make sure that when you do see the surgeon that he or she does a thorough evaluation. The surgeon should be hands-on in feeling the thickness of the fat. It should be able to tell you how much that fat thickness he's going to remove. Is it going to be 50% or 80%? During the evaluation, a good surgeon will show you what your new body shape is going to be. Is it going to be like this and flat? Believe it or not, what I hear all the time is that the surgeon pinched the fat and says, I'm like, yeah, we can do that. Well, then later the patients come to me complaining that they don't see a difference and they still have most of the fat remaining. What I do in my consultation is to explain to patients how thick the fat layer is, where the muscle wall is, and then I use my hands to hold back the fat to show them where the new shape will be. In addition, I'll even sketch out on the photo exactly the areas to be removed. You really want your surgeon to be that complete so that you know what to expect. Number four, your surgeon should make you aware of any potential problems. Will there be any loose skin? If so, how much? If there are bulges or large hangs of fat, what's it going to look like afterwards? Sometimes patients just aren't good candidates because there's very little that liposuction can do for them. You want an honest opinion, and if you're not a candidate for these reasons. Number five, sometimes you should just trust your gut instincts also. If you don't, don't feel comfortable from the consultation visit, for whatever reason, you should probably avoid that office. You should never feel pressured into booking a surgery also, not because of the price or any other reasons. Take your time and do your research before choosing your surgeon. I hope this video has been helpful. We have many other informative videos and lots of great before and after photos on our website, which I hope you'll visit. I'm Dr. Thomas Sue at Art Lipo. Thank you and good luck.